It is time for another edition of Throwback Thursday. And yes, I know there was none last week, and I do apologize for that. That's why I tell you guys to follow me on Twitter, because on Twitter, I told you guys, hey, I can't really upload a TBT video. Basically, what had happened was I forgot to record it the day before to upload it on Thursday, and then I tried to record it on Thursday and then upload it, and then it just didn't really work out uh, work out all that well, just like that sentence that I just said. Like, the end of it did not work out whatsoever. Listen, man, follow me on Twitter, at CSB underscore YT, because you guys can stay updated on what videos are coming out on what day. Now, you guys see the title, NBA 2K14. They did win the poll in two weeks ago's TBT, and I was thinking about what team to use, and I just, I just, I just couldn't really think of what team I wanted to use. I wanted to use the Knicks, the Raptors, I wanted to use the Lakers, as you can see on the screen, and try to get them a championship, but I've already done the Lakers in NBA 2K14. So the team I decided to use, and I don't know why I'm acting all cinematic and dramatic, like you guys can see it on the title, it is the Brooklyn Nets. Now this team just, uh... Yeah, they tried. They tried, but um, the Miami Heat kind of happened. So, and when you're giving Paul Pierce 15 mil a year when he's like 36, and you give Kevin Kevin Garnett, I said Kevin Garnett, you give him that much money, like that. I mean, that's just not gonna work out. You overpaid Darren Williams, which at the time seemed like a good idea, but now looking back on it. Probably shouldn't have done that considering now he's not even a top 10 point guard in the NBA. Now one thing I definitely look to improve on with this team is our cap room. Negative 44 million dollars in cap. You guys know me and what I stress on with rebuilding. You got to get as much cap space as possible. So taking a look at the roster really. Darren Williams he, he is most likely staying because I don't think I can get anything better for him. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. Uh, Joe Johnson is someone that I really want to get rid of. Paul Pierce and Karolenko, I want to get rid of them. KG, he's only going to get worse from here. And then Brooke Lopez, I'll see what I can get for him, but no promises on him staying here. So in the first trade of Season 1, I hit up the Golden State Warriors. I'm saying, hey, give me Klay Thompson. That, that, is, that is the main point of this trade, is me getting... Clay Thompson. Now, I don't think that this trade will work, but you never know when 2K, sometimes they they just accept stupid trades, and they made a counter offer. Oh, man, Andre Blatch and Marcus Teague, and all they're giving me as well is Jermaine O'Neal. Clay Thompson, welcome to Brooklyn. Next, I am sending Jermaine O'Neal, Jason Collins, and Mason Plumley to the Los Angeles Clippers. For Matt Barnes and Reggie Bullock. Now, the reason why I am doing this is to get a good backup three. And also, I don't have to give up any draft picks with um, a lot of those trades. I had to give up second round picks, first round picks. And I was not really looking to do that. So now, our center position is looking great. I don't really want to get rid of either Lopez or Andrew Bogut. I mean, I'll see what I can get for Lopez, but I won't show you. Oh, um, well, um, yo, Kevin Garnett has a no trade clause. Are you kidding me? Oh, dude, this sucks. I can't even trade Kevin Garnett. Actually, I can, but he just has to accept to waive his no trade clause. But, I mean, these trades are not really looking too great right now. Like, the best trade is for Thaddeus Young. I mean, it's worth a shot to see if he will do it. Will he do it? And yeah, he declines to waive his no trade clause. So basically, we are stuck with Kevin Garnett. So in this trade, really the only reason why I'm doing it is to get MCW, obviously. But the A-plus potential is what I am mostly focusing on. Hopefully, he can be like an 81 or an 82 at the end of Season 1. I doubt it, but you never know. And we are saving so much money in this deal. So Dare Williams, sorry fam, but you gotta go play for the damn Sixers. Good luck with that. And, I mean, really, there's no one else that I really want to trade. I mean, Paul Pierce, yes, I want to trade him. Uh, he is on an expiring contract. This trade has come up, all right? Iggy for Paul Pierce and Andre Karolenko. But I don't know if I would be able to get another backup three. But, I mean, part of me is just saying, screw it. Just, let's just, you know what? Let's, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. And get Andre Iguodala on the team. 
in exchange for Paul Pierce and Andre Karolenko. Now, let me go to free agents. Please tell me that there's a good small forward here. Steven Jackson, thank you so much. I'm pretty sure he played with the New Jersey Nets at one point or another. Uh, so come back to New Jersey. Thank you, man, for accepting that deal. So here we go. This is how our roster is looking. Really, I would like a better backup point guard, to be honest. Oh, wait. I totally forgot that we had Matt Barnes. Okay. So real quick, I'm going to see what I can get from Matt Barnes and maybe Bogut. And then I will uh, update you guys when I get on the uh, trade screens. The Orlando Magic are willing to give us Nikola Vucevic for Andrew Bogut and our first round pick next year. I'm not really too worried about it because I feel like we will be a good team next year. Once again, we are also saving a ton of cap and we are also getting younger. Five years younger to be exact. What is our teammate chemistry at right now? It, it, like, it's got to be low. 6% teammate chemistry. GG to my chances of actually winning something in season one i mean i think maybe in season two we can win something but definitely not in season number one reggie jackson is not bad whatsoever i i i think that's the best trade for me to take uh grievous vasquez no vince carter sorry uh yeah we are going to accept that trade from the oklahoma city thunder and get reggie jackson and hashim the dream the beat on the team that is what i'm talking about so here is our rotation at the start of season number one. If it can hurry up and load it. Alright, so we got Michael Carter-Williams, Klay Thompson, Andre Iguodala, Kevin Garnett, and Brooke Lopez. Off the bench, Steven Jackson, Marcus Thornton, Nikola Vucevic, Alan Anderson, Reggie Jackson, Steve Blake, Mirza Toledovic, and then Sean Livingston, Reggie Bullock, and Hashim the Dream are all not getting minutes because they are resting. Let's go ahead and simulate to the trade deadline. I'm not exactly sure what trades I will make if I do make any trades. But regardless, I will show you that if I do make any trades. But if not, then you guys will be seeing the end of season number one where hopefully we can be a top five team in the Eastern Conference. And at the end of season number one, really no surprise here, the cover athlete of NBA 2K14, LeBron James, does end up winning the MVP award. Trey Burke wins the Rookie of the Year. Mo Williams wins Six Man of the Year. Anthony Davis wins Defensive Player. Uh, Eric Bledsoe wins Most Improved. And Tom Thibodeau wins Coach of the Year as the Bulls go 58-24. and 24. Good enough for first in the Eastern Conference. Here are your All-NBA and All-Defensive teams. Show me some players from the Nets. And there is MCW making the All-Rookie first team. Uh, six, six and a half points, five rebounds, seven assists, one and a half steal with half a block per game. I mean, Trey Burke did put up better numbers than him, so that was definitely well deserved. Now, we did not make the playoffs, which I'm actually pretty salty about, uh, but I can't even see, like, where, like, what our record is. Uh, basically, we finished, like, I think five or six games under 500, but I can't really show you what our record was so we're just gonna go ahead and simulate the whole entire postseason actually wait a minute wait a minute i will show you guys the stats on the season because i should do that and i do that in my regular rebuilding videos brooke lopez led our team with 21 points per game uh, i think our starting five except for uh mcw was in double figures the uh, only exception being uh marcus thornton who wasn't the sixth man because Steven Jackson was the was the uh, six man. So uh, rebounds, KG, assists, MCW, steals, MCW, blocks, Brooke Lopez, and turnovers, Andre Iguodala. All right, so let's go and simulate the rest of these playoffs. Somehow the Cavs made the playoffs. I don't really understand how. And the Miami Heat do end up winning the NBA championship. This would have been their third championship in a row. So they do pull off the three-peat, beating the Houston Rockets in six games. Bruh. What is this? Mario Chalmers wins finals MVP? Really, 2K? Let's see if the Denver Nuggets will accept this trade here in the offseason. Our first-round pick this year, Reggie Bullock and Brooke Lopez for J.J. Hickson, Jan Vesely, and Darrell Arthur and the trade has been accepted. We finally get rid of Brooke Lopez. Now, that doesn't really help our cap. Well, I mean, obviously that does help our cap situation, but we are still negative basically 931,000 under the cap. But I mean, really, there's no one that I want to trade. Maybe Iggy if I can get something outstanding for him. 
but I highly doubt it considering most of these trades are going to be bad and that it Kawhi Kawhi Leonard Kawhi Leonard do I take this trade for Kawhi the thing is I don't want to give up Nikola Vucevic that is my only thing about that trade like I would definitely take it but I don't want to get rid of Nikola Vucevic let me take him out of it and then you take Tiago Splitter out of it let's see eight mil listen I w I will make this work I promise so basically I couldn't get anything to work so I went to the trade finder and this trade popped up. I don't want to get rid of J.J. Hickson, but I also really want Kawhi Leonard. And I could sign a good center in free agency and also trade Tiago Splitter and his $26 million deal. So welcome to Brooklyn, Kawhi Leonard. It's, it, is, it is so great to have you here. What a crazy trade. And now we are getting rid of Tiago Splitter. I don't want him on this team. That's too much money for my liking. And where are you at? Like a 71 overall. Like Spurs, you guys totally overpaid for Tiago Splitter. A Mecca Okafor, that's not bad. A 75 overall. Jan Nehimi. Barg. Oh my god. No. Never ever will Barg be an option. I mean, I could get Petra Kirkins. Like, I mean, honestly, this trade. It's looking like the best trade for me to take. Emeka Okafor, we are also getting a second round pick. And that is exactly the trade that I'm going to end up accepting. In the first signing of free agency, we will be bringing Pau Gasol to Brooklyn to be our new starting power forward. Honestly, I'm just going to try to trade him and KG and then hope KG waves his no trade clause. But I doubt that is going to happen. Now, yes, I did just sign Pau Gasol. First of all, LeBron and Kobe are both free agents, so it'll be interesting to see where both of them go. I also threw a contract at Andrew Bynum. So real quick, I can't even offer him the same deal. That sucks, so I need to go to someone else like Marcin Gortat and bring him here. Now, you're probably wondering why are you getting... Oh, wait, hold on. They are, they are off the board. They... Oh, wow, the Heat get Kobe and the Bucks sign LeBron. Oh, my God, what is happening? Okay, so LeBron goes to Milwaukee. Never thought I would ever say those words in my life. Um, you guys were probably thinking, why are you going for Gortat? And, yeah, I can't even get by him. The reason why I'm going for Gortat is so I can trade away a Mecca Okafor, and that is honestly what I am going to do. Paul Pierce is here. We can actually bring Paul Pierce here, so that's what I'm going to do to be a backup three to us. Come on, PP, Paul. Oh, he accepted a, um, another offer. So let's just go ahead and simulate two. Um, I'm going to do training camps and then put some guys through uh, training camps. But you guys will see the start of season two. If I make any trades, you'll see that. But if not, then you'll, be, you'll basically just be seeing the rotation and basically my uh, expectations for the team. Right here, we will be sending Darrell Arthur and Jan Vesely and our 2016 first round pick for Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Now, in this trade, we are getting a third small forward on the team, but also adding more firepower off of our bench. I tried to trade Pal and KG in a package deal. Didn't really work out considering KG will never decide to waive his no trade clause. Now, this is what uh, our small forward situation is looking like. Shooting guard, we are fine. Point guard, honestly, we are, we, we are fine. But now it gets down to the center position. Emeka Okafor, I want you out of here. And these trades are not really looking all that great. I mean, Chase Budinger, that would just be one big salary dump of a trade. We could get a first round pick here that might end up doing well for us. Honestly, I feel like I'm going to do that because... Giannis is whoa Giannis was a 63 and 2k 14 wow all right so we are actually going to accept this trade from the Toronto Raptors and just get the Pelicans first round pick this year because you never know how good that will be or how bad it'll be so I think I'm done making trades here is our rotation our starting lineup wow and wow, Michael Carter Williams is in 85 overall. So we got him. We got Klay Thompson, Kawhi Leonard, Pau Gasol, and Marcin Gortat. Off the bench, we got Paul Pierce, Michael Kidd, Gilchrist, Marcus Thornton, Nikola Vucevic, KG, and Reggie Jackson, and Chuck Hayes. Actually, I don't want to give Chuck Hayes any minutes. Like, no offense to you, bro. I just don't want to give you any minutes. And let's just make that 15 and 11. And we are set 
for season number two. Hopefully, we can be in the NBA playoffs at the end of season two. At the end of season number two, just like he did in real life, Kevin Durant does end up winning the MVP award. Nate Schmidt, you don't know who he is, neither do I. He is an auto-generated rookie. Shout out to 2K for closing down the 2K servers on NBA 2K14. He does win the Rookie of the Year award, almost averaging 19 points per game. Lou Williams wins the Sixth Man of the Year award. Larry Sanders wins Defensive Player of the Year award. Uh, Harrison Barnes wins the Most Approved Player. And once again, Tom Thibodeau does end up winning the Coach of the Year as the Bulls go 62-20. and 20. Once again, finishing with the best record in the Eastern Conference. There's LeBron making the All-NBA First Team as a member of the Milwaukee Bucks. I really hope we don't lose to them in the playoffs. Spoiler alert, we made the playoffs, but I just hope that we do not lose to them whatsoever. And there's Michael Carter-Williams making the All-Defensive Second Team. He had two steals with basically one block on the year. And then the All-Rookie First Team and All-Rookie Second Team don't really matter a whole lot. So we did end up finishing with the third best record in the Eastern Conference right behind the Miami Heat who we did lose to in the final game of the season. I can't show you the standings, but I can show you our player stats on the year. Klay Thompson, 21 points per game with a 92 three-point shot. I put him through the uh, perimeter shooting training camp at the end of the offseason, and it definitely, you know, showed right there. Marcin Gortat was our third leading scorer. I find that really hard to believe, but I mean, considering we don't have a lot of scores on this team, and then our leading rebounding rebounder, rebound getter, rebounder, same thing, really. Kawhi Leonard with seven rebounds. MCW averaged nine assists. That is crazy impressive. Kawhi with two steals. Gortat with one and a half block, and uh, MCW led in turnovers. So. Round number one, we are taking on the New York Knicks. It is the Battle of New York. Who do they have on their team? Well, Raymond Felton is recovering from a bruised sternum, so he will be their starting point guard. They got Shumpert and JR and Tim Hardaway Jr. Obviously, Carmelo Anthony, Amare, and Tyson Chandler. So honestly, I really like our chances going into this first round series. We will have home court advantage here in this series, so maybe that will come into play towards the end of the series, but I hope not. I hope to just win this series in five games. We do win game one by 12 points. Let's go ahead and win game two, and we do that by, I believe that was 15 points, but you guys know me, not good at math whatsoever. 3-1 lead, and let's just win this series in five games, and that is exactly what we do. And the Oklahoma City Thunder get taken out in the first round by the New Orleans Pelicans, so their pick won't be bad. It'll be just basically at the start of basically mid round i'm pretty sure that 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 sentence made sense i don't know but let's go ahead and take a look at the miami heat roster i mean they got chalmers the reigning finals mvp i don't know how that really happened but hey it's 2k they also have kobe bryant and dwayne wade sean marion stephen jackson udonis haslam chris bosh listen i feel like we could definitely win this series considering we actually our power forwards are also really, really old and aren't really all that great. I mean, maybe Pal can do some work, man. Who knows? This is uh, pretty weird. Out West, every single top seed lost. Like, the one seed lost, the two seed lost, the three seed lost, and the four seed lost. And also, LeBron's Milwaukee Bucks lost in five games. Two of the Detroit Pistons, game one of our series. We only lose by one. That's not too bad. We lose game two by 7-2-1. Let's tie it at two games apiece, and it's 3-1. Not really looking too great. 3-2. Okay, we are still fighting. We just won on the road. Can we win at home? Yes, we can. 3-3, and let's advance to the Eastern Conference Finals. Yes, we did it. Wow, winning by one point in game number seven. Kawhi with 17, uh, MCW with 15. Clay with 12, only two, wow, we did not shoot well at all, we did not shoot, we shot 38% and 29% from three and somehow still managed to win this game by one. We are taking on the Detroit Pistons here in the Eastern Conference Finals, their point guards Brandon Jennings and Chauncey Billups, but he is getting up there in years 38 years old. I mean, shooting guard can take this call while Pope. I feel like Clay Thompson will definitely outplay him in this series. Josh Smith will get locked down by Kawhi Leonard. Uh, Greg Monroe, I wanted to get him in free agency, but I decided to get 
a center instead. He is an 85 overall. And then Andre Drummond, an 82 overall. I mean, I really like our chances in this series. I know I've said that for the past two series, but hey, you gotta be confident in your own team. All right, we split the first two games, no big deal. 2-1 lead, 3-1 please, 3-1, and let's go to the NBA Finals. That's exactly what we do. And we're taking on the seventh seeded Memphis Grizzlies. What is happening? What is happening right now? Okay, so the Memphis Grizzlies, they got Mike Conley, Courtney Lee, Quincy Pondexter is their starting three, Zach Randolph, and Marcus Saw. I have no idea how this team made it to the NBA Finals, but this should be pretty easy for us. We do end up winning game one by 11 points. We win game two, and we win game three. It is three nothing. So what I am going to do, I'm going to go in here. We're going to put this on all-star because I actually superstar. I'm going to I'm gonna play this on three minutes, all right? But I won't show you anything unless it gets, like, really, like, out of hand or, like, really, like, hectic or really, like, down to the wire. Basically, the reason why I am just going to play the game is just so I can show you guys the championship celebration. We do have a chance to win it on our home floor. So let's go ahead and do that here in season number two. All right, so we are here at the start of the fourth quarter, and we are up 24 to 22. So far, Klay Thompson has come up huge for us. I think hitting two threes. I'm not really too sure, but Mike Conley trying to get past me. That's not going to work out for you. Just kidding. It just kind of did. Oh, that's so... Oh, wow. What a miss. That should have been a block, but watch this. Klay Thompson. Klay Thompson. One hit is slam. Four point lead, man. This game has been such a struggle considering I'm like really trash at 2K and I haven't played 2K14 in quite some time. And I mean, actually, it's 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 just more that I'm really, really trash at 2K because I mean, you guys know me. I'm bad at math and I'm bad at 2K. That's basically all you need to know about me. Mike Conley, what are you trying to do? You're in the paint. You got nowhere to go. Mike Conley, what, what, what in the world is Mike Conley doing? Marcus Saul has actually done like nothing this game. I think he has like two points and the shot clock is winding down. They're gonna have to shoot it. There's no way that's good. Shot clock violation, man. All right, Mike Conley, what do you got? What do you got, fam? What do you got? What do you got? Come on, Mike Conley, try me, fam. Try me. Oh, you are not getting past me. No way you are making that layup, but we can't even get a rebound. And oh, he misses. He misses on the layup attempt. And Clay Thompson, actually, yes, Clay Thompson. Actually, no, it is Nikola Vucevic making this a six point lead 126 left to go i think i do better when i'm commentating over the game i know that seems really weird but i i think i'm like more focused whenever i'm commentating the game marcus saw no i mike conley oh man i thought that was gonna be a block like there was no way he was supposed to make that but the refs bail him out with a shooting foul all right basically under one minute left mike conley has been their best player thus far and it is now a four-point game. So really, if we score on this possession, the game is over without a doubt. Send me a good screen, Gortat, or just don't. That's fine. Really? Okay, I do not like this play whatsoever. Oh, Clay Thompson coming off a double screen. This is going to be an easy three-pointer. Actually, no, it's not. I thought it was going to be an easy three. It's not really. Oh, Kawhi Leonard, easy three-pointer. Kawhi, oh, whoa, oh, man. He almost made that. Clay Thompson, excellent release. Clay Thompson makes it a seven-point game. 31.1 seconds left. This game is over. Memphis, thanks Thanks so much for playing. Y'all just got swept, and they missed that shot. This game is over, and the Brooklyn Nets have won the NBA championship. And there's something so special, Kevin, about winning it at home in front of your fans who have kind of ridden that roller coaster with you, gone through all the adversity, the ups and downs, the emotions. These are two very worthy teams, but there can only be one champion. Congratulations to the players, the coaches, 
and the fans of the 2015 NBA champions, the Brooklyn Nets. This is the moment you dream about growing up as a kid. I mean, this is something that each and every one of these players will remember forever. From the owner of the team all the way down to the ball boys, you have to hand it to the entire organization, Steve. They work together to get right here. Bill Russell, NBA Finals, Most Valuable Player Award. Yo, that championship celebration took so long. Like, I thought it was going to be just like 2K60, but nope, that was way too long. Um, I don't know yet if I'm going to cut it down or not, so if it's cut down, uh, the reason being is because it was really, really long, but we do end up sweeping the Memphis Grizzlies in four games. That is what a sweep is in the NBA. And the finals MVP, as you guys saw, was Michael Carter-Williams. In the four game sweep, he did average 11 points, basically five and a half rebounds with eight and a half assists with two steals and one block. And here are the retired players. And I think I saw 66% from three is what he was shooting in the series, which I don't ever remember MCW making threes. Paul Pierce and, and uh, Kevin Garnett go out with rings, well-deserved, and Tim Duncan ends up retiring. Hall of Fame, Ray Allen, Paul Pierce, Steve Nash, KG, and Tim Duncan, three members of the Celtics, big three in there. I mean, MCW has a B-plus out. I don't ever remember that happening. Here is the final championship roster led by Kawhi Leonard, Michael Carter-Williams, Nikola Vucevic, Michael Kidd, Gilchrist, Klay Thompson, Marcus Thornton, Pau Gasol, Marcin Gortat, Reggie Jackson, and Chuck Hayes along with Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce who did end up retiring. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Let me, let me know down in the poll in the description. Make sure you guys go vote for which game I should be rebuilding on next week's TBT. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys all next time. Peace.